The chrysanthemum is native to Asia and is special because it's part of the four Jonji flowers. There are many varieties of chrysanthemums and you can find them in many different colors, lilac, white, pink, etc. It's one of the most common flowers in boho shake style decoration. Chrysanthemums, better known as mums to the fans, are late season bloomers that really pack a fall punch in the garden. The chrysanthemum bloom season ranges from late summer into early winter depending upon your zone. In rare cases, mums are not flowering when they should be in full bloom. Are chrysanthemums the flower of death? White chrysanthemum blooms are reserved for funerals and decorating graves in several European nations, including Belgium, Italy, France, and Austria. Chrysanthemum symbolism has to do with death. The only time chrysanthemum flowers are given in these nations is as a token of comfort, grief, or bereavement. Is chrysanthemum poisonous to humans? All parts of the chrysanthemum plant are potentially harmful if ingested by mammals, especially the flower heads. Symptoms of toxicity include nausea, vomiting, rashes, increased salivation, diarrhea, and lack of coordination. How do you make chrysanthemum tea from fresh flowers? Follow few steps to make hot chrysanthemum tea properly. Step 1. Boil water. If possible, use filtered water to make any kind of tea. Step 2. Warm up the pot. Step 3. Put chrysanthemums into teapot and add hot water. Step 4. Cover teapot and steep for 5 minutes. Step 5. Strand chrysanthemum flowers and pour hot tea into a teacup. 